Hey everybody, welcome back to This is the Police 2. It's November 29th. It's gonna be a great day. With filled with... Paperwork of some kind. I love it. Love paperwork. God, Lana, you know how to sneak up on somebody. You're seeing Plunkett today, right? Uh, only if I manage to rake up all this paperwork before noon. Talking to the old man after that is useless. He'll already be soaking up his cocktails. I hear they're having problems with the new curator from the mayor's office, the one in the green jacket. I need to take notes on Isaac Brommel's testimony. You remember him, paralyzed at the waist. It's three hours one way. I'll be stuck there until evening, so I need you to give this folder to Plunkett. Mila says that he's leaving tomorrow, flying off on some. I'm not catching all so these names, so I'm not sure. Today, okay? What do you have? I want the Jack Boyd case given special status. Oh, she's on it. <laughs> she is on. Lana, do you even understand what what special status even means? I need access to the closed sections of the police department's archive. I need to be removed from all other cases. I need two assistants. <laughs> I need support from Pulse. Lana. I need a surveillance team, a judicial order for Lana. the wiretapping of four witnesses. First of all, Emma Weinstein, and permission to Lana. search her. Lana, listen to yourself. What What are you trying to achieve? Do you even take over the understand world. what's waiting for you? It's one thing to drag all the witnesses through here ten times. Plunkett is somehow tolerating that. But it's another thing to... Oh, God. If you... Why don't you do something... Something easier? More relevant. Have you looked at the papers recently, Reeves? No one's seen Jack Boyd for almost a year, and he's still on the front pages. Show me something more relevant. Oh, Lana, look, God knows you did what you could. The asshole is already eight months on the federal wanted list. The feds can't find him. And you, I mean, can you? You mind-fucked all your colleagues, mind-fucked everybody, one by one, through the whole police department. Plus, any poor son of a bitch who ever saw him, talked to him, delivered him pizza, or checked his prostate. You went through mountains of documents, some of which you were not supposed to see, and I have always been ready to look the other way. Until you come You're in- You're not my boss, Reeves. Jeez. I don't care if you looked the other way. I never asked you for help with the investigation, and I'm still not. Just give Plunkett the fucking folder so and make sure he's like sober enough to read it. So these two, like, agents or prosecutors or whatever, they report to this Plunkett guy who apparently is a drunk. Okay, what do we got today? My cousin works in the post office, and he's letting me use their copy machine to make a copy from his copy. Of the last adaptation of Neptune 2, the ice chipping trident. Almost 600 pages, so I'm going to be copying it all day. So, I can have the day off to take care of it, right? No, not right, Rosencrantz. No. My Aunt Jacqueline from Maitland stood in a huge line yesterday, but she couldn't get a copy of the last temptation of Neptune 2. She asked me to tell her the whole story over the phone and read the most interesting pages to her. But man, there was so much that happened. It'll take me a half day to read her Fontaine's Escape in Budapest. So I'm going to go on the phone all day to cheer up my old aunt. No. Uh, Mr. Nash, yesterday... <laughs> what is going on with this book? The Last Temptation of Neptune 2 means to say I always suspected that Itchy was a sleaze. But I never thought he'd dare to do that with poor Valentina. I've got to admit, it really messed me up. I don't feel like my normal self. And what we do now until the next book. I don't know. I don't think I'm up for much today. No! Get to work. I sat in the dining hall with the guys with the guys until the morning. Seems like they watched the wind blows into hell four times. At one point, I fell asleep right in the chair, but when the girl threw the sword on the fire, they woke me with the cheering. I don't understand what the fuck they're all wait yelling for. They all knew that she was gonna throw the fucking sword. In short, I feel like a shit, but everybody else seems happy. But I wonder how they'll make it uh, to the end of the day without sleep. So they stayed up watching this frickin' thing. We knew... Ugh, that was a bit risky. I think it's... I don't know. Are they gonna do that every day now? I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with these dudes. Let's have a good day, everyone. Let's get out there and just have a super time. Okay. Oh, this one we, we pretty much know what we need to do, right? Uh, we gotta send somebody that's intelligent. Uh... I wonder if Spurlock could get this done for us. Cause she kind of limits, she kind of limits us in a lot of ways. It's the um, the hoodie guy, right? And we figured that out because of a couple of clues with the uh, wooden splinters in the lock, and then uh, he was coming in with like the crucifix or the uh, he's on a holy mission. Wait, there was somebody here. Yeah, carrying a wooden stake. 
and then uh, the back door swells up. It wasn't done by force, which is being shown like... Oh, I guess this one's breaking through the door. But anyways, because we know the splinter's in the lock, it's got to be this guy. It's the only thing that mentions wood or whatever. So let's uh, have her try to find frames for that guy, and we will go from there. All right, cool. Okay, Fry's payment. You need to pay him tonight. Get ready, otherwise an anonymous call will tell the feds exactly where to look. Lovely. We have the cash. 550 in progress. Barely, but we, we do have it. A couple of activists released some pigs that were on the way to the slaughterhouse. However, the pigs were hungry and attacked their saviors. Uh, okay. 715. I'm just looking at, like, fatigue here. We can send these guys. Why don't we just send all the duds? first. We also learned that the sniper can do something, so we should send him on cases where it's like, maybe a little bit more intense. 552 in progress. Justice Trent's Park. A barefoot guy in a t-shirt and shorts stole a woman's purse and quietly sat down in a nearby shop. 730. Uh, I'd have to send both of these guys. Let's see what other calls come up here. in progress. Abduction? Young girl in a long white dress was hastily pushed into a car by strangely dressed people. Uh... What? Long white dress. Could be like a wedding. Could be like they're late for a wedding. <laughs> right? This could be sketch too, because he quietly sat down in a nearby shop. But this is really expensive. To send people out to... I, I don't know. I'm gonna... I'm gonna send these two dudes here instead. This sounds like young girl, long white dress. That sounds like, like a wedding dress. Hopefully in progress. we're not botching this too hard. Close encounter, second hand. Two pregnant women are fighting over a baby outfit. Oh, I can send Rosencrantz by himself. That's beautiful. Okay, the couple have climbed onto a flimsy wooden fence while the hungry pigs wait for them below. Shoot into the air to scare the pigs, but maybe that scares them off the fence, like maybe they fall in. Throw a stun grenade at the pigs, or throw a saddle on the nearest pig. Uh, let's throw a stun grenade at a pig. Uh, is anybody close? This guy could get a promotion. Do it. Nice! complete. Pigs are lying- oh no. Pigs are lying in blood, stunned or dead, while others race around squealing wildly. The activist couple's also stunned. Easy prey. Okay, we'll take it. Let's go, um... A little point in intelligence. That first point in intelligence gets the burglar perk. So we can silently open closed doors and windows. It's kind of nice. 529, in progress. Here we get these tactical missions going. 553 in progress. Okay, I don't have anybody to take any jobs right now. Barefoot guy in a t-shirt and shorts is sitting on a bench and counting money. His tongue stuck out. Uh, sneak up. We have stealth. Order him to surrender. Or hey, you. Are you sure you're not you're are you sure you're dressed right for the weather? I wonder if these ones with like quotes. Uh maybe that's negotiation. I just had the thought. Let's uh, sneak up on him. 552 nice. complete. Turned out he's certified as mentally incompetent and his guardian recently died. Damn. Okay. What's this one? Nash, I have a problem with some firewood I cut down to heat my bathhouse. The main problem is this inspector who sent, uh, who was sent to Sharpwood to collect his pension. And out of boredom, he decided he'd look into my business. Turns out that I cut down some priceless Garensburg black oaks. We cut down conifers all the time, but sometimes these oaks are mixed in with them. Of course, my boys don't really pay attention to stuff like that. Tried to explain to the inspector that my guys aren't arborists and don't pay much attention to every single tree. They see a trunk, they get to work. <laughs> but he only threatened me with fines and even said I could go to prison. Could you send one of your more convincing cops to explain things to this guy? He needs to understand that 
that the forest is doing fine and the police have everything under control. If you solve this problem for me, I'll let you and your guys come to my bathhouse whenever you want. I swear, it'll make you feel like a new man. We need somebody... One of our more convincing guys. So either intelligence or negotiation. Five in progress. Five eighteen in progress. Jesus, what is happening? The girl wasn't really being kidnapped. Bride, oh, she was a bride. Bride stealing the traditional ritual of the Kazakh people and the family custom. Okay, I thought maybe they were just late for the wedding, but hey, that's like one of the best times that we've detected a false alarm. Feel pretty good. Feel pretty good. Okay. Um. These guys are too tired, man. We can't send these dudes in the red. Two women in late-term pregnancy are playing tug-of-war with a bright baby outfit and trying to hit each other in the face. Oh, this could be bad. May we try this negotiation? The women immediately stop... Okay, so that's gotta be it, then. And hurry to the pile of clothes the cop pointed to. He easily arrested them while they were distracted. Alright, cool. Oh, infant formula? Lovely. Isn't that great? Let's go, uh, strength. Jumper. Uh, hold on. Suicide threat. Can't make that. Definitely can't. 1800? Teen ninja with a gun is demanding the church's donation box? Uh... We need somebody... Convincing, so we need negotiation. I guess I could send Birch, but ah, uh, I don't like sending them when they're this low. I really don't like that. Suicide threat. No one came to the call. Civilian died. Great. Armed robbery. No one came to the call. Civilian died. Great. We still have a billion other calls to do. So neighbors are complaining about a child's loud screaming and crying. Rockman. Clayton. Pankin, you just need that, that, you just need a little bit to push you over the edge there, buddy. Just a little bit. Destruction of property, 675. Nope. Two homeless people are trying to disassemble a radio tower. Or 485 here. Close, very close. If we wouldn't have sent Pankin, we could have sent him here. I should start comparing these earlier. Man's complaining that the girl in a skimpy dress approached the car and offered to suck out all his sorrow for 20 bucks. According to the man, prostitutes regularly patrol the area near his this filling station. Okay. I don't know if people will get back in time, but... Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, again, but frick, send these guys out. I just don't like this. Because there's a chance that they can get injured, and then they're gone for a long time, and Rosencrantz is super solid. Um... <laughs> The other thing is, we've already failed so many missions today that it's kind of like, does it even matter? No one came. 532 in progress. Uh, through the open window of a dirty little white trailer, a child's, a crying child's voice rings out, Daddy, Daddy, don't. Forgive me. The door to the trailer is locked. What? Um... Climb through the open window or break down the door? Let's climb through the window. Strength for climbing? The cop climbs through the window. The trailer is dark and dirty and there's empty bottles scattered everywhere. A thin, shaggy man is sitting on the floor beating a little boy with a belt. Shoot him, stun him with a baton, or use a big knife to stab. Let's stun with the baton. Uh, whoever we get to do this, Rockman, could go to 510, he could go to 300, he could go to 70. Um, oh, he doesn't have the baton, though. Let's go with uh, Clayton. Five thirty-four nice. complete. The, okay, yeah, cool. We're confirming a lot of things. I probably mentioned this a few times, but um, items are, like, almost guaranteed to be successful, I think. Pepper baked silver whiskey. Um, let's grab a point. I think having a one point and everything is kind of nice. Just for flexibility. And Pankin will give you, uh, intelligence. Alright. 
Uh, Mr. Nash, I talked to that nerd and explained that the police had the situation under control and we didn't need his help. He won't be going back to Winter Nights Resort. Mr. Sigvaldison was so pleased with the news that he pulled me into the bathhouse and let me have a sauna. I haven't felt so full of energy for a long time. And his fatigue thing uh, went up. We got laundry soap, some cash, a hot s steam, a leaf broom, and delicious food are the keys to happiness and relaxation. Any coffee would be glad to spend a few hours at the Winter Nights Resort. Do not worry, we don't serve alcohol here, just an invigorating sharp wood infusion. So this must be a way to, like, um, get, like, if you're like, holy moly, we really need cops right now, but they're all fatigued, then you could send one to the bath, and, uh, I guess in a couple of, a few hours they spend there, and they have no fatigue. So actually, if he comes back, we might be able to handle this. Did we get it? No. Oh, maybe. I could send... See, but again... Hmm. Was it Rockman that we sent? No. Was it Birch? Because he has he doesn't have the fatigue. So it must have been 530 Birch. 5.30 in progress. 5.54 in progress. No one came to the prostitution. Like, what is happening today? What is happening? 1,090. I'm not sending these guys. I'm not sending them when they're this low. I gotta, I gotta have some standards. <laughs> you know? I gotta have some. Cranter was talking to her husband on the phone in the background when she heard a cold male voice threatening to tear out her tongue for a minute of silence. Uh, then there was a rumble and the connection went dead. Miss Cranter was worried about her friend. Okay. Um, we could send here or theft. Man claims that their house was robbed by one of their daughter's dolls. <sighs> Drunk woman holding a penknife, threatening a teenager who's sitting on a bench playing the guitar. Oh, man. It's so tempting, but I just have to, like... I gotta know. Rob one of the daughter's dolls. What the frick is that? Is that bogus? Tear out her tongue for a minute of silence. Worried about her friend. Uh, all right, well, let's check out this one. Jeez, this day, what a disaster this day. Holy moly, guacamole. Um, here. Why don't, oh, we can't. I can't send... Birch isn't enough. I'm not sending these dudes. Mr. Nash, uh, the guys want to sit in front of VCR all night again. Honestly, I'm not going to last two nights in a row like this, but I don't want to go home. The boys will think I'm some kind of woman, but I don't like action movies. You really want your employees failing or falling over from exhaustion after staying up all night? I put some thought into this. I'll carefully light the thing on fire, and everyone will assume that it malfunctioned and went up in flames on its own. The next day, the guys will forget all about the VCR, and everything will go back to the way it was before. Uh... I don't... I don't know, man. I don't know how to handle these. I'm gonna say we don't. I'm gonna say just learn to deal with it. Let's see if these guys... Nah, burn it down. Get rid of it. We can't have them tired all, all the time. It's gone. Whatever. Forget them. We, we need our guys to be ready. Miss Cranter's friend is all right. She was speaking loudly on the phone. She was interfering with her husband watching a hockey game. Husband got angry, yelled at her, and tore the t telephone cable out of the wall. Okay. What do we got here? Nice. Okay. Uh, we're still short. We need at least five. We only have this, so... Fair enough. Sycamore Street. Uh, we could send these two, actually. Claims that their house was robbed by one of their daughter's dolls. Be like the last call of the night. Let's just send our sniper, too, because why not? Blackjack. Mr. Nash, you only just started working here, but I can already tell you're a stand-up guy. Do you want to play Blackjack after the shift? It's only a friendly game, not for money. Old Sheriff Wells liked to talk over cards about this and that. Let's play a game to honor his memory. Okay. Sounds good. Wow. 
It's time to send Fry's check. Did you scrape enough? Yeah, okay. You got $20,000 gone. But we are up over the 10k mark. So that's kind of nice. Okay, disheveled man meets the police. Okay, this is not a false alarm. Meets police at the door of his house. Don't worry, I locked all the doors. The doll has nowhere to run. His wide-eyed five-year-old daughter is clearly frightened. Call a doctor for the man. Hurry to the children, child's room or interview the girl. Let's interview the girl. The girl whispers in the ear that one doll comes to life at night and goes to her bed. The dwarf in the green cap. What? Let's go to the room. A child's room is littered with toys and dolls. Along the wall are seven big dwarves and Snow White. Arrest. Thoroughly inspect every doll. A toy dwarf in a green cap turns out to be a real, <laughs> a real dwarf in disguise. He bites a cop on the hand and tries to escape out the window? I guess we'll use the shocker. Dwarf's arrested, loaded into the car, but the suspect nearly bit a cop's thumb off. Wow. Okay. We found a VCR. And jewelry. Okay, then. Uh, let's take a point in... Shooting. What a day. Birch is in the hospital. It's a rough one, man. That was a rough day. I don't think we made any money. I'm pretty convinced that we didn't do well at all there. It's a huge bummer. Okay, here's the blackjack game. Goes on until somebody has five wins. You already know the rules of blackjack. Try to get close to 21, but don't go over. Okay. Ooh, that's a good start. Uh, I'm good. Hey, yo. I'll take it. Mr. Nash versus Rosencrantz. One nothing. All right. 19. I'm good. Frick. Okay. Sixteen. What's the rule? You you hit on six. You you stay on. Hit on 15, stay on 16. Is that the rule? It sucks, because, like, it's just a bad draw. Um, I'm just going to stay. We'll see what happens. Yeah, see, and if we would have taken that card, we would have lost anyway. So I'll just abide by that guideline. All right, give me a card. And we lost. Okay, cool. This is going well. Rosencrantz kicking our ass big time. 18. What? <laughs> this is crazy. All right. Very lucky, Rosencrantz. Oh, I'm good. You're not beating that one, I hope. Nice. Sixteen. What a brutal draw. All right, we'll stay. Nice. Okay, he went over. <sighs> Four, three. 4-3, four, 4-3, three, four, three, four, three. I got us. I mean, obviously, we stay there. Okay. 4-4. Four, four. Anybody's game, Rosencrantz. Anybody's game. 14. 19. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Tied. All right. Go again. 17. Wish me luck. Oh, we beat him. Take that, buddy. <laughs> the finger guns. Very nice. Mr. Nash, thanks for playing, but I had more than the game on my mind. I had an agreement with Sheriff Wells. Uh, for a little extra, I served as his eyes and ears in the station. I can do the same for you, but I want $500 and Henry's Smile Infant Formula. Every week. What? Rosencrantz got a kid at home, I guess. 500 bucks and infant formula every week. Eyes and ears in the station. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. 
Yeah, criminals are arrested, sure, but look at all this. Just disaster. Complete and total disaster. Well, it would have been nice to get any of you guys on my squad, honestly. But uh, it's not happening. So, cool. We need to buy uh, taser cartridges when we get the opportunity. Uh, batons for more people, I think, are really good because they're not single use, so... All right, who's going to work tomorrow's shift? Atkins is going to work. Aranovich. Fletcher. Jacob. Uh, Flowerpots. Belmont. Kurosawa. Meradian is hurt. Birch is hurt. Wait, is that all the ones I picked? Seven? Yeah, I guess so. Hello? Hello? Okay, I guess we're just... We're just not answering that. Warren Nash. It's me, Jack. I have a strange question for you. How would you say your work is going? What are you talking about? I mean... I don't mean in general. Just today. The work you did today, are you pleased with what you did? Uh, no, we had a what shit day, Lily. What question is that? I'm talking about... I need to sleep, Lily. Jack, I'm not trying to... Okay, good call. Uh, if you lose more tabs than you earn for three consecutive days, Lily will have no choice but to call the feds. Fuck, Lily. I feel like, okay, maybe this was a bit of a setup, because today we got spammed with calls. We couldn't take a lot of them. We f Obviously, we failed a whole bunch of them. And some of the requirements were ob obnoxious. I kind of feel like it might have been a way for it to, to set this up. So now we know if we uh, fail, essentially, three days in a row, that's she's calling the feds. And I guess that's probably game over. I don't know. But, uh, hey. Thanks, Lily. Thanks for everything. We'll see you guys in the next one. Wish me luck. Bye.